Hello Tiger fans and welcome to Earning Their Stripes. I'm Thomas Watson, a senior government history major from Midlothian, Virginia. And today I'm joined by Dr. Larry Stimpert, the 25th president of Hampton City College. Dr. Stimpert, ready to earn your stripes? Sure am. All right, so to start it off for you today, who is your favorite professional athlete? Oh gosh, there were so many great athletes when I was growing up, but uh, I, I don't think anybody today would know who they are. But uh, you know, I guess uh, you know I, I've been listening to you ask that question, and some of the things I've been thinking about are the the highlights of my experience here at, with Hampton Sydney Athletics so far. There have been some great moments. Uh, one of those that I was thinking about was. Uh, it was uh, the the game. Uh, we were at uh, Randolph Macon and uh, not doing well. And I remember uh, we had my wife and I had seats front and center, and we watched Brian Gwaltney come back. And uh, the the energy that he had, the determination he had, it was just a great moment. I thought in him, Sydney Athletics, to see how determined he was, even when the score was pretty lopsided against us. What about one of your favorite foods? Oh, it's whatever I'm eating at the time. Uh, we always have steak on Father's Day. That's a special day for our family. We get together and uh, everybody gives dad a bad time, but we always eat steak. And uh, I don't know, uh, if I had to live without pasta, I'd go pretty hungry, I think. That's one of my favorites. And then uh, my biggest uh, weakness is ice cream. All right, so what about, do you have a go-to TV show? When, when we lived in Colorado, my wife worked every Tuesday night, and so the kids and I, our kids were really young at the time, the kids and I would have dinner, and then we'd do the dishes, and then we'd all sit down and we'd watch NCIS Los Angeles. And I'd have my daughter on one side and my son on the other side, and I'd just sit there holding them. And, uh, and then uh, I remember my mom was visiting one time, and she said, isn't that show awfully violent? And uh, then I read not long after that that uh, there were more shootings in that show per hour than any other TV show on television. And uh, I always thought maybe that was a bad thing for a father to do. But I, I think that's still one of my go-to shows. I, I like watching the reruns and uh, brings back a lot of great memories of me and my kids. What are some of your motivations to work hard? You know, it's a lot of responsibility being the president of our great college. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think, uh, you know, number one motivation is uh, you guys, the students. Uh, when I see what uh, you do, uh, the, the work you put out both in the classroom and outside of the classroom, uh, you know, when I see the accomplishments of our students, that's incredible motivation for me to do my part on behalf of the college. Continuing on, on kind of on that same accord, you know, what is one of your proudest accomplishments? Well, I think, uh, you know, here at Hampton Sydney, um, you know, a, a big part of what you know, a president's job to do is to you know provide resources for the school. And uh, you know, we'd been talking about building a new science building for a long time, and uh, to get one gift that uh, you know the biggest gift in the college's history uh, to support that effort, and you know to find that donor who wanted to make that uh, his contribution to the college, work with him to to get that gift secured. It was it certainly you know. And now to watch the building being built, it's uh, you know incredible satisfaction in that. And so, if I had to make you choose between call, text, oh. and FaceTime, what are you going to do? Gosh, I uh, I just love to meet in person. Uh, so I think I see all three of those as bad alternatives. Uh, I, I I'd say call. Um, my kids have taught me to text. And if that, if I want to interact with them, they you know they they kind of require me to text with them. But uh, calling, I think, is still the best option of all. If you had to give me some good words to describe yourself, you know, what do you got for me? Focused and uh, driven uh, to accomplish. You know what I think uh, I need to be doing. Um, I think you know I I also. I think it's important to be humble and, and always be prepared to learn. Um, again, I think determination and humility are, are two really good qualities and for anybody in my position. I'm gonna make you, if I have to make you choose your favorite academic discipline, oh. what are you, what are you uh, gonna have to pick? Yeah, well, I'm a, I'm a business professor by training. That's, that's what I spent most of my academic career doing is teaching business and uh, you know, business is uh, a fascinating discipline. Again, it's uh, it's so multifaceted, and there's so many opportunities for creativity. It was, 
I, I loved teaching students about business. So, when you're you know, not hard at work on behalf of the students here, what are some of your hobbies and interests that you know, take up your time? Oh, uh, I love to read. Um, I, uh, I like to garden. I think it's from being a farmer. It's uh, the way I, I stick to my, my roots, I guess. Uh, uh, it's, a, it's a great pastime and it's, it's neat to kind of see what you can create or grow. Um, I play the piano, that's a great form of relaxation too and uh, also challenging I mean, at, at the same time. Um, and you know, I like, to, I like to work out and stay fit too, so I'll, I guess I have a lot of, a lot of interests. So this one's got a lot of possible answers for you. If you could be anybody or do anything for a day, who would you be and what would you do? The first thing that comes to my mind is Abraham Lincoln. Uh, he's always been a personal hero of mine. Uh, I don't know that I would want to trade places with him. <laughs> as tough as my job is, I don't think it comes anywhere near the, the job he yeah. faced uh, as President of the United States. But uh, On a scale of 1 to 10, how funny would you rate yourself? Oh, uh, you know, Having a good humor, a good sense of humor is absolutely key in life. Uh, I don't know. Maybe uh, maybe a five. <laughs> my uh, my family would say it's a lot lower than that. Oh, but. come on. So they're not going to give you the benefit <laughs> of the doubt? No, I don't think so. <sighs> There's a lot of cool places here at Hampton City, but do you have a favorite spot here on campus? Probably wherever I am at the moment. It's such a beautiful campus, but uh, I fell in love with the Wilson Trail when I first got here, and uh, it's beautiful all four seasons. Uh, it's it's just great. Every any time I get out there, it's just it's just a joy. If you had to recommend me one of your favorite books, you know, what are you going to give me to read? Ron Chernow is famous for the biography of Hamilton that got made into the musical, but before that he wrote a great book on uh, George Washington, a biography, and uh, what he tried to do was um, show that, you know, George Washington was this, you know, amazing godlike figure but uh, he also wanted to show that Washington was human like you and me and uh, so I, I recommend that book it's a it's a wonderful read about a figure that uh, well again the father of our country but uh, also it's a way to think differently about him than, than most people do I think so I'm gonna make you choose on the next one beach or mountains oh yeah well, we lived in Colorado for 17 years so I have to vote mountains so I got one more for you today. Who knows you best? Oh, my wife. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, yeah she, she can read me like a book and uh, it's been an amazing relationship and uh, I think uh, goes a long way toward, uh, you know, that humility that I talked about. You know, she, she knows what I'm good at, but she also knows, you know, my failings and shortcomings and so, uh, you know, it's, it's just been a wonderful relationship. Good to hear. Yeah. Well, that is the last one we had for you today. I want to thank you for coming on. And ladies and gentlemen, this has been Dr. Larry Stimpert, current president of Hampton City College, and he has earned his stripes. Thanks, Thomas. Thank you.